In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create retargeting ad. What I want to do now is I'm going to go to this campaign. You can see I am on campaign level now. And for this campaign, I am actually using brand awareness. So I'm going to use the same campaign. Okay, this is the campaign is still active. The ad is currently running. So I will click on it to open it up. And here it is. For now, I only have one ad set. So this particular one is not a retargeting ad. So what I would do is I would duplicate this one so that this one will be a retargeting ad. I'm going to retarget people that have shown some level of interest in my business. So I will duplicate that. I am going to rename it. I will add this and RT meaning retargeting. Then I'm going to use Africa as targeting the whole of Africa. I'm going to add it because. I may need all this information later because once I look at it, I will know whether it's a retargeting ad set or is Nigeria, Africa, the whole world, whatever it is. By me looking, I will, I will know. So I will add the date to it. This is October. Then I will also add how much I'm spending a day i will add to it so that once i see the ad i immediately know i have an overview of what it is all about okay then what i'm going to do is the budget i'm going to reduce the budget to thirty thousand naira per day then i'm going to select africa the audience the audience i'm going to switch to original i'll click use original audience and for this detail targeting I'm going to edit that. I don't need all this one again because I am targeting people that have already taken some level of action on my ad. Okay, so that detail targeting is no longer necessary. I'll use custom audience. Then I'm going to go to custom audience. These are the custom audience I created earlier. And I showed you how I created it. Though it, it, that one was from a different page, but the same format is the same format I used to create this. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. I will go through the name based on the page I am working with. That's why when I was creating the audience, I had to add the page name so that this is where that page name is important. With this, you'll be able to know which page it is. 
so that I don't make mistake. All those audience I created earlier, this is where you are going to see all of them. This is where you can target those who follow your page, those who watch your video to a certain percentage. Ensure you take your time to go through all of them. Okay, so I I have selected okay, remaining this one. I'm just taking my time to be careful I do not leave anyone out. so these are the audience you can see there are many okay that is all i need to do as far as yes concerned let me save the audience i will save the audience save it as give it a name based on the product you are promoting read audience retargeting audience and sometimes you can also add the date so that you know when you created it october twenty twenty four and save it Let's save it that is it so the next thing is to go to our ad sets we're going to go to our ad sets okay let's publish it first Let's publish it. Okay, so the reason is there are two ad in that ad set that I duplicated earlier. So I'm going to close this one and ensure that i am there this is the campaign level open this this is the one we are working on now so you can click to open it these are the ad sets okay the one i want to modify now is this video i want to modify this video and this one may not even be on i will up this one for now then i will modify this video i will edit Then I am going to delete the media and open this. 
Here you can even see select video. Okay, I can add video here. I'll click next. I have already created the video, so I'm going to upload it. I will go to where the video is, the file where the video is. It is done uploading. So I'm going to click next. I'll click next again. Then at this point, the way I edited my video, I, did, I edited this video, just one video to fit all. Okay, you can see the video was actually square, but it was there's a way I created it, and you see how I'll fit all of them now. So here I'm going to click on crop, and here it's going to fit to vertical placement. So anywhere that a vertical video is required, this one is going is going to show up. I'll click confirm. Then for this, this is going to be square. Anywhere square video is required, this one will show up. I'll click on crop. Then I'll drag this edge to here so that it will really capture the, the video. And see, this is a square video. And click confirm. Then this is going to be horizontal video. I'll click crop. You can see this is horizontal. Anywhere horizontal video is required, this one will show up there. I'll click confirm. You can see this will make my ad to fit almost all placements it will help me to spend less on my advertisement i will click done you can see that is it so I'm going to work on the text now. I'll pause the video for a while. I'll work on the text before I publish it. <clears throat> okay. Now, this is the primary text. I've already drafted it. This is it so i just pasted it here and um, i think i am done let's preview it this is the ad preview okay so i'm going to publish it now and wait for them to approve it let me publish it. Let's view this and click done. So that is how you can create a retargeting ad on Facebook.